Hey everybody, this video is just going to be really quick and it's going to show you how you can deal with a uh, file that has got a number of different layers or a number of different pieces all in one file that you need to deal with separately. So I just went ahead and loaded up this home sweet home design that I've done and it has a bunch of different options that you can do. Uh, for example, there's a version that you can um, put a, a shelf on here. You can see the shelf right here and the slots right here. This has also got a little support piece that goes right there in that hole. Or you can just simply do the version that doesn't have the shelf at the bottom. You get to choose. So first of all, when you load this particular file into the Glowforge interface, it's gonna look like this. Now the reason that these are grayed out is because uh, these pieces are not within the uh, printing area. They're, they're too large or, or they're too far outside the printing area. However, this one right here is inside the area and so is this little piece here. So I just want to show you some really basic things, but hopefully this will help you out a lot. So let's say you want to do this piece right here and you're not going to do this one. You can just simply select these and hit the, the delete button, but I don't recommend that. Just drag it out here off of the workspace so it's out of your way. That way when you open this file later, this piece is still going to be there. And then you can also, if you don't want to do the keychain, you can actually just drag the keychain right out here. And if you don't need that piece, you can just drag it right out there. So now this one's still gray, but if you notice, if you click and drag it until it gets into the workspace, all of a sudden it turns blue or green, depending on uh, what the color you think that is. So now you can deal with this one and you can cut and engrave or do whatever you want to do. Now, just because I have some OCD, I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy around like that, but you don't have to. So now you've got this one that you can deal with, and you can then go over here and choose on the left side what you want each layer to do or each part to do. If you hover over them over here, you'll see them turn uh, that green-blue there, and it'll show you which ones you're dealing with. So let's just start from the top. Let's say that um, on this particular design, you can uh, choose, like I did, you can choose to do different materials for different layers so that it looks really cool, like maybe a uh, walnut on one layer and cherry on another, and then maybe maple on the top. So let's say you want to um, do this top layer, this one right here, and you want to cut it out like I did out of maple. What you can do first is just click that and click cut so that now it is ready to cut out. And then the other pieces below, um, we're not going to do anything with right now, so I'm just going to click ignore for all those other pieces. All right, so we're not going to do the hearts. We're not going to do any of those other pieces right now. Um, and we'll look down here at the bottom. And all and this, these here are already off the workspace, but I'm going to go ahead and click ignore anyway. And then the very last one, uh, we're not going to do that either right now. So right now, the only one that is selected or, or is um, over here on the left is this top one right here. And we're going to cut that out of maple. So you would then you would put in your maple... Um, Material, whatever whatever maple you're using. Uh, I don't even have my machine turned on. In fact, right now I'm in Minnesota and my machine is over in Oklahoma. So just doing this from a hotel room to help some people out. So then you could uh, put your material in there and drag this around so that this home sweet home is wherever you want to cut it on that material. And uh, then you can hit cut and you'll be good to go. Once that's done, you just remove that, put in your next piece of material. And now you're going to go and ignore this one. And then whichever part you're going to do next, let's say you're going to do, um, uh, you're going to cut the big outline, you would just simply click uh, cut right there. And you would, uh, if that's the piece you want to do, and you would cut that one and so forth. So just simply work through these by ignoring or turning on or off whatever pieces you need. Then when you get to the very bottom, uh, you can then cut the outline of the house there itself and just place that wherever you need to on the material along with the hole there. By the way, one last little glitch I want to show you guys because a lot of people are struggling with this. Sometimes when you get down to this piece, you're clicking on it and you can't seem to click on it. It doesn't work. All you have to do is slightly scroll down so you can still see a little bit of it there. And then if you click it, now you'll be able to deal with it. But if it's all the way down at the bottom, for some reason, it just doesn't seem to work. Anyway, back to this. That's how you do this. If you want to use the other one, you'd simply drag this one off drag this one on, and go through the same steps there. Now this particular one's too tall, so all you have to do is turn it sideways, and then it fits on the material again. So I hope that helps, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next one.